Stay connected with Pop Topics. Lincoln was elected to unite a country and stop slavery. Democrats smeared him, went to war against him, assassinated him. Now their target is Trump. America was never great. Slavery, Donald Trump wins the presidency. So help me God. They say he's killing America. There will be a vote to impeach. They say he's a racist. This was a white lash. And a fascist. Who are the real racists? Basically, Death of a Nation examines two issues. Um, uh, fascism, on the one hand, and racism and white supremacy on the other. And uh, the left launches these two bombs against Trump. You're a fascist, you're a racist. And they say this about the Republican Party and about conservatives generally. The movie calls this into question, and the movie says, all right, let's look at what fascism is. Let's look at who were the fascists. Let's look at what they believed. And let's look at the actual, not just the history of racism, but let's look at where racism is in America now. And so what I show in the movie is that fascism has always been a phenomenon of the left. Fascist tactics are going on from the left now. And that the real racism in America today is coming from the left and from the Democratic Party. What message does this movie give for people who give you a little pushback when you compare this Trump the presidency to Lincoln's presidency? Well, I, I don't compare Trump and Lincoln the man, because Lincoln was brooding, philosophical, melancholy. Trump's not like that. Trump's a very different type of guy. But the situations are pretty similar, because in both cases you have a president from the outside who won an election very close, and all hell broke loose. And so in both cases you basically have a party, and it's the same party, the Democratic Party, that basically said, we are not okay with the results of this election. We're going to get rid of this guy by any means necessary, even if we have to take the country down with it. So the situations are similar, and I analyze it in that respect. My first movie, uh, which was about Obama, uh, tried to pull back the curtain, but only on one man, on Obama and his, his life. Since then, I've been trying to pull back the curtain on a larger narrative of American history. And this movie is continuous with that. It's less historical than Hillary's America. It's more about the present but it does have a historical thrust as well. Well, I think that a lot of people operate on talking points, and that's the main issue, is that they're not actually familiar with the policies, they're not actually familiar with the wins that this president has had. They're just familiar with his tweets and that they don't like the way it makes them feel. However, once they understand this president was elected to get something done and not coddle their feelings, maybe we'll get somewhere. I think this president, if you really look at the policies that he's made, the changes that he's made, the deregulation, and the, the maximization of freedom, you got to understand this president's doing great things for all of us. I think we need more conservative voices out there. I don't think we need to ever drown out the voices of the left. I think it's an important conversation. I believe in free speech. However, I do believe as conservatives, we need to get a little bit louder, a little bit more vocal. We have to be able to stand our ground, which is something that we haven't been able to do until this president. If you look at all of the leaders of the Republican Party and those that we've put up for election, they haven't been able to stand their ground. And finally, we have somebody that's willing and able to do that, and it's making big changes. So as this president continues to win and the Democrats continue to stick their foot in their mouth, I think we're going to see great things. I mean, this week we've marked milestones for economic growth, lowest unemployment in 18 years. We're seeing that being impactful for real Americans on both sides of the political divide. Those are the things at the end of the day that really matter to people. So I think that the future is we continue to improve the economy. We work on border security, border enforcement, we work on the opioid crisis, we work on foreign relations, all things that this president is doing. And we're going to have a great next couple of years and it's going to be a great 2020. I think we've seen a lot of changes in a matter of a week, the EU coming to the table willing to work with us. I know this president cares a lot about our agricultural community and I know that they're the ones that are somewhat worried right now. They prefer trade over aid. However, I do think that you're going to see when this president comes to the table from a position of strength, he usually wins. We're going to see it again. He knows what he's doing. He's a businessman. He's a negotiator. He understands that everything is a compromise and everything is a negotiation. Remains to be seen, but I'm pretty confident in our president so far. Uh, I'm Brandon Strzok. I started the hashtag walk away campaign uh, that's kind of gone crazy uh, all across the country. So we're here tonight to support Dinesh. He reached out. He wanted uh, us to come see his movie. Well, the walk away campaign is all about encouraging people to take a look at what's going on in the Democratic Party, see what's look, take a look at what's going on in the left, and to walk away from all the divisiveness, the hateful rhetoric, the vitriol, and uh, walk away from it. You know, find civility somewhere in the center over on the right. It's a lot of people I think that are lifelong liberals and people that lean left 
that liked the love and the you know logic and the reason behind the Democrats and didn't like the off-putting mentality of the Republicans, but it seems like it flopped in a lot of ways and there's a lot of hate on the left and not a lot of reason and logic. So, you know, I, I think that contributed to millions of people feeling the same way and it's it's definitely not Russian bots. That's a false narrative. I mean, this guy is uh, as American as it gets and all, all the people that are joining it, maybe there's four or five accounts that are Russian bots, but there's tens of millions of real Americans that are get behind it. So that's just a complete fake news. Well, in terms of the walkway campaign alone, uh, the left uh, people from the left have said that it's paid actors, Russian bots, uh, that it's been paid for by the Koch brothers. Uh, that the latest, excuse me, the latest is that uh, it's pulled images from Shutterstock, not real people, fake quotes. It's amazing because it's actually a testimonial campaign, so people can literally just go and watch video testimonials or read testimonials. They're right there, very real people. But um, yeah, so those are some of the biggest misconceptions. And Trump called out the Koch brothers today, so can people people stop saying I'm funded by the Koch brothers. I wish I was, but now that Trump called him out, it's like it's clear that uh, Trump doesn't even like himself. So you know, if I say something that's Trump leaning, he doesn't even like and I'd have the a Koch lot brothers. More money. So yeah, I was here for the pre-screening last night and then I was on a panel after the movie where we discussed the movie and answered some questions. So, absolutely amazing film. And what do you feel like the message of this movie has? I think the message is uh, is alarming. The fact that there's uh, the fact that what's going on in our country right now is actually taking place and it's not new. It's tried to happen before in our country and so many people are not awoke to what is actually taking place. This movie wakes people up to the truth. It's alarming. So speaking of people being woke, what are some of the misconceptions that this movie addresses and that, you, and that your platform has uh, This movie really addresses a lot of the misconceptions of the Democrat Party's history and the supposed switch to their support for civil rights. It never happened. This exposes why so many Americans believe that there was a switch and takes a deeper dive into exactly how that switch or that lie was perpetrated on the American people. The stakes could not be higher. We're talking about America, the greatest nation on earth. Lincoln saved America for the first time. It's now up to us to save America a second time. Stay connected with Pop Topics.